Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about how to analyze mathematically the recursive algorithm. So in my previous video, I already explained how to analyze non-recursive algorithms. So here, we will discuss what do you mean by recursive algorithms. When we ask this question, what do you mean by recursive function? So many students told recursive function is a function which calls itself. But that is not a complete definition. The complete definition of recursive function or recursive algorithm is a function which calls itself correct, but it never ends. It has to end at some point, right? Otherwise, it never ends means a function calling itself, a function is calling itself, then that function become infinite. So it never become infinite. So it should stop at some point of time. So the complete definition of recursive function is a recursive function is a function. So which call itself until certain condition reaches. This is what the definition of recursive function. Same thing holds good for recursive algorithm. Okay. Now let us see what are all the steps we require to analyze this such an recursive algorithms. So in the Analysis of uh, non-recursive algorithm, we used to follow five steps. The first step is decide the problem size. Second step is identify the basic operation. Third step is to decide whether we need to find all the three cases or only the average case. Okay, so this is what we discussed while we are discussing mathematical analysis of non-recursive algorithm. Okay, the same five steps, but here the only change is only fourth and fifth step changes, but first three steps of non-recursive algorithm is same as in what recursive also. So first three steps are same as in non-recursive algorithm analysis. Okay. So decide the problem size, identify the basic operation, decide whether we need to find all the three cases or only the average case. So if the number of times the basic operation executing depends on how we give the input also, then only we need to find all three cases. Otherwise, we need to find only the average case. The fourth step is to express the number of times the basic operation executing in terms of what? In the case of C, non-recursive algorithm, what we discussed is in terms of some expressions, right? Some expression. But here, we need to express the time of basic operation in terms of recursive equation in terms of what recursive equation instead of some equation summation expression okay so but here the one more thing i told so until certain condition so that certain condition is called what initial condition also called as terminal condition also called as base condition okay so we need to express here how many times the basic operation executing in terms of recursive equation with an appropriate this is important okay otherwise it becomes infinite with an appropriate initial condition initial condition which is also called as what initial condition also called as terminal condition which is also called as base condition so till that we need to Call. Okay. So let us see what do you mean by this initial condition. Let us take an example of say I need to find factorial. Suppose assume I need to find a factorial of 4. That means 4 factorial I need to find out. So we know that what do you mean by 4 factorial? We know that everyone is what? 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. So that means we know only the initial value 1 factorial is equal to 1. Okay. This we know. Right. So till one we reach, we keep multiplying the number with its preceding numbers. Okay. Till it reaches one. So four into three into two into one. So like once it reaches one, we are stopping multiplication. See, we are repeat, keep repeating multiplication, but we stop multiplying whenever the number reaches one. Similarly, when we are writing the factorial now. Okay. So suppose factorial of four. Now suppose again this factorial of 4 in the function, suppose it is again calling factorial of 4, so again it goes back here, again calls here, so it becomes infinite. So now what we have to do, we keep decreasing whenever we are calling the function once again, so that parameter value has to be get changed. Okay, so suppose, suppose see, factorial of 4 is calling what? Factorial of 3. Okay, again factorial of 3 has to call factorial of 2 
again factorial of have to call factorial of 1 so 1 it reaches 1 it has to stop otherwise it becomes okay for example see same example see please. so 4 factorial what I have done 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 right so now this can be done as 4 into this one uh, what I can write as 3 factorial so 4 into 3 factorial similarly now this 3 factorial is what to what 3 can be done as what 3 into 2 factorial similarly this 2 factorial can be done as what 2 into 1 factorial so when it reaches 1 we are not calling again so whenever we are calling a function is calling itself say so factor of 4 is calling okay you should not call the same so it should the value keep changing okay keep changing so now up to what you have to calling at up to certain condition reaches when certain condition reaches we stop calling okay that condition we call it as what initial condition also called as what terminal condition because so why we will call initial condition so we know only the what initial value one factor is equal to one okay that's why whenever we take factorial of one that factorial of one so we stop so this was the initial condition we'll call okay why we'll call this also as terminal condition because we stop calling this function whenever we reach this initial condition so hence it is also called as what terminal condition so this is the first step see only difference between what non-recursive and recursive is in the four step of non-recursive so we need to express in terms of some expression but here we need to express in terms of recursive equation with an appropriate initial condition that's it okay this is the only one change in what in the fourth step see in the fifth step what we did here so we solve the summation expression and obtain the order of growth same way here what we have to because in the fourth step we return the recursive equation that you need to solve okay solve the recurrence equation and obtain their order of growth okay this is the fifth step so only change from the non-recursive and recursive is so there we are writing the number of times basic option executed in terms of summation expression here we are writing the same thing in terms of recursive equation so summation expression is changed by recursive equation and there we are solving the summation expression but here we need to solve the recursive equation okay these are the five steps what we are using in order to mathematically analyze the recursive algorithm okay Okay. Hope you people understood. Thank you.